Hey everybody, it is Quicken and welcome back to Tattoo Talk Tuesday. So if it is your very first time joining us, Tattoo Talk Tuesday is our weekly interactive talk show where I take viewers submitted questions and try to lend my experience to you guys as a tattoo collector. First, I'll just get it out of the way. Go birds. Secondly, I've been spending a lot of time in like CVS and other drugstore places where I don't normally go. We've been fighting off like the common cold and stuff like that. So I found myself in CVS a lot more often and I wanted to make this video where I go through different tattoo friendly products that are drugstore. So there have been a lot of products that have come out on the market I feel like in the last couple of years that are like tattoo focused or like marketed towards tattoo people. You can feel like they're a little bit gimmicky because like there's this product from Lubiderm right now which is like a tattooed bottle of Lubiderm. And when I contacted them about their cruelty-free status, they sent me back this email, and when I shared it with you guys on Twitter, you are kind of skeptical of it. And I feel like that's a lot of the products at the drugstore. Now, on this channel, I've recommended, you know, products from Lush and things of that nature, but I've also, like, in my vegan grocery grab series, I try to be more conscious of the people who live like like in more rural or more suburban areas or just places where they can't access things like Lush. Like even checking Lush's Instagram this morning, someone was like, can you please open up a shop that's somewhere near me? I'll work there. I try to think about that consumer as well. Most of these products, I'll let you know, like other alternative places you can find them. Obviously, without a doubt, you can find them all on Amazon, but I'm gonna go through the process of what stores I went to, what things I found, the ease in which I found them, in the vein of affordability and accessibility. So all of these products are also under $10. You know, when I first started getting tattooed, going to the store, like right afterwards, like dripping in your tattoo and finding these products was exciting and something that I honestly cherish and the older I get and the more tattoos I get the more that this is like a sacred routine and something I feel really prideful of so it's something I definitely cherish and nurture but I think finding items that are cruelty free and affordable are where it starts to get kind of difficult the first place I went was Rite Aid and there is a variety of like lotions and products like that with name brands that we grew up with. So I think it's really easy for you to just go in and grab like a bottle of Curel and then leave. So I thought, you know, I would lend a little bit of that process to you guys, like the cruelty free one, because it's hard. And I recently talked about how hard it is to go to CVS because you need a full battery because by the time you're done searching everything, you're like, whoa. Finding a white, water-based, fragrance-free, cruelty-free, affordable lotion at Rite Aid was impossible. My Rite Aid was a little bit sparse and it might have to be with, like, it might have something to do with, like, the Christmas rush or because this Rite Aid was in downtown Philadelphia, but it was really hard to navigate. They didn't even have, like, a little cheeky, like, natural section that I feel like stores will kind of give us nowadays. Just nothing of the sort. But I did want to give an honorable mention to Bulldog's Men's Lotion, which I found in Rite Aid. It is Leaping Bunny certified, and although I'm not allowed to buy it, it does contain fragrance, but it does say that the fragrance is naturally derived, and if you live somewhere where all you have is Rite Aid, I believe that this Bulldog would be in all of the stores, so if you find yourself only at Rite Aid, that would be your best option. So if you are in a drugstore and you're looking for a white water-based lotion that is fragrance-free, here are my recommendations. So Alba Botanica, am I saying that? Alba Botanica unscented, very emollient lotion is fragrance-free. It hits all of the things we want and it comes in a pump. I don't recommend for healing tattoos anything in a tub unless you are using a popsicle stick to take out product and put it on your hand. That way you're not double dipping and introducing bacteria into the product. So the Alba lotion has a pump. 
I was using this lotion to heal my tattoos for the longest time and I actually found this product at Marshalls for around $4.99. So all of the drugstores I went to, including Target, had Alba Botanica and they had it at really affordable prices. At Target they had it at $11.99 but it was a, I believe a 32 ounce container, like a very large one with a pump whereas the one I'd been using was really slim. I actually recently just threw mine out. I wasn't tattooed for an entire year, so I just had to assume that the lotion had expired by the time I started getting my back tattooed this year. So I have switched to a new lotion. And this is a product that I am pretty familiar with. I used a lot in high school and it is Hemp's. So Hemp's is this product where you might be kind of familiar with it, like I said, I used it in high school. They used to have a shampoo and conditioner, and I would use that, and I would also use their tanning lotion in high school. I loved going tanning. I, well, so I went tanning before, I'm gonna say prom, and it doesn't matter what pictures I show you because I do not look very tan in them, but I'm tanner than I am here. I used to love going <laughs> tanning after school, walking there, putting on my hemp smelled so tan bed. Anyway, so hemp has a sensitive skin formula and that's always where you want to look for your lotions because you don't want something with fragrance or dyes and you want it to be water-based, I keep saying that. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll go into the ingredients and you want the first ingredient to say water. It means it's the most predominant ingredient and if you look on there, water is the first ingredient. So what I like about this hemp's is that it is naturally fragranced, so it's not a like, I don't know, almost like an ointment like on your skin. It is a little refreshing, it's nice on the skin because of that like very natural and subtle fragrance. But the thing about this, and hemp's isn't like a luxury brand, at least not like it was when I was a kid. I found this at CVS, I found this at Ulta. You can get a larger pump in a variety of fragrances and, you know, different formulations for around the $20 mark. But if you're healing your tattoo, like I said, you want the sensitive skin formula. So I go for travel size a lot, and you might notice that. And that is because while I'm healing my tattoos, it's great that I can like put this in my bag or my purse or whatever I'm doing so I know I have it. And then when I'm done with it, I can kind of like nicely tuck it away in my like tattoo survival kit. So it's just there and then I don't use it because I have so many like scented lotions and other things around my house that like it's nice to just have the one lotion that is dedicated for healing your tattoos and then you put it away. And like, you can see I really haven't gone through this bottle at all. So it is really nice to have just like one little, one little place for all of this stuff. So I found the Hemp's at Ulta for $8.99 just because I wanted to get the travel size. And there's always like a ton of promos with Hemp's and like when I was there it was buy two get one free and all of that stuff. And they did have a ton of their like pumpkin scent on steep discount. <laughs> now I'm going to talk to you about soap. So soap is pretty easy and you guys might know from me just explaining it in other videos that I use Dr. Bronner's. So Dr. Bronner's soap, if you have never heard of it, that looks kind of like this. And I really like this for my fresh tattoos and I dilute this soap so you could get this travel size one I love the travel size. So you get this travel size one and dilute it into a separate container and have it for a really long time. I talk more about that in the healed video as well. But what is so great about Dr. Bronner's now, I mean, it is, it's everything. I use it all the time. I use it for everything. I use it for the cats. I use it for the laundry. It's just a miracle product. I use it for my tattoos. The great thing about this is now it's located everywhere. Like I remember being like a 20 something year old and driving all over Bucks County for the one natural store that sold Dr. Bronner's and now it's everywhere. Now it's at, I found it at Walgreens, I found it at Rite Aid, I found it at CVS and I found it at Target. You can get this anywhere and if you 
live in Philadelphia, the co-op in West Philly has Dr. Bronner's in their bulk section. So you can bring in a container and, you know, weigh it, fill it with Dr. Bronner's, and then just pay for what you take. And like I said, you can dilute it. So I'll go in with my bigger bottle and just like fill it to here. And honestly, I, for years and years, I haven't washed my fresh tattoos with anything else. From now on, I'm gonna be talking about products that will go on healed tattoos. I use them as like, my tattoos are well healed. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is sunscreen. We love sunscreen and we should always be using sunscreen. If you don't use sunscreen every day, at least use like a face moisturizer that has SPF in it. But other than that, SPF, sunscreen needs to go on your tattoos, even if it's just in the summer, even if you're only putting sunscreen on your tattooed arm. Sunscreen is so great because I remember trying to source cruelty-free sunscreen even like five years ago and not being able to find any information that made me feel comfortable and satisfied to the point where I was like, okay, this is cruelty free and not like, uh. One of the sunscreens that have come out is Sunbum. And I have like the full collection of Sunbum, but it's in the Bronco and that is not here right now. So I'll show you some visuals, but Sunbum is amazing and it's everywhere now. I used to only buy it, I feel like at Ulta a couple years ago, but I found it at CVS, I found it at Walgreens, I found it at Acme, I found it at Wegmans. So this is a cruelty-free sunscreen and I really, really like it for my tattoos because they sell just a little tub of zinc and zinc is going to be your best, your best friend when you're in the sun I've been using the sunscreen for years, so if you follow me on Instagram, you've definitely seen me applying it and talking about it. And I'm sure I've posted videos where I put zinc on my back and you can literally see like the zinc on my back and you can see like maybe a streak where the sun got in and it works so, so well. So you can get that for $9.99 typically. You can get the lotion for $9.99 as well because the spray is a little bit more expensive, but you can get the lotion for $9.99 up to 70 SPF. So moving on to body wash. I think most of us use probably more middle to higher end products in the bath because of treat yourself. But I will say that I have been guilty of going to CVS and just like walking down the body wash aisle and like remembering the fragrances and stuff like of the body wash I used when I was a kid and just wanting to just just buy it so bad even yesterday when I was like you know doing research for this video I saw the dial antibacterial soap that I used to use to wash my tattoos when I was younger and I just had to unscrew the cap and give it a little sniff it's so it's so hard scent is so nostalgic so I do want to help you if you get caught in a little bit of a pinch if you are at the drugstore but I also do really, really love this product. I have talked about it in a monthly favorites and I do love it so much. And it is the soap and glory scrub of your life. Looks like this in the package. This is a travel size again. And that is because I found this in a gift set for $7.99. It came with like a body butter. I feel like that you can source this for under $10 all the time. You can get the full size at Ulta for $12.99 and I've also found these products at Walgreens and at Marshalls. So even right now, everything from Holiday is on sale so you can definitely get this affordably but it is so, so good. I feel like it brings so much life into my tattoos. If I'm gonna do a photo shoot, I always scrub with this but it's also good if you're about to shave or anything like that, it's really going to like lift the hairs off of the skin and really just remove any dead skin. It has, I should have said, like an exfoliating quality, but it's still gel-like and tender. And honestly, when I use it, I'm always just completely wowed. So the final product that I want to share is more of like a dazzle, like you want to enhance your tattoos. I've seen products like specifically marketed for tattooed people in this category. 
And I kind of just wanted to give you like a life hack on all of that. You don't have to buy obviously any products that are marketed towards tattooed people. You know, if you like the packaging, if you've used it and you found that it was successful, leave your recommend recommendations in the comments down below. I'd love to hear about them. For me, I feel like one of the products that will make your tattoos beautiful and luxurious, maybe temporarily, but they just like really, really pop is oil. Oil is always going to be amazing. I've definitely mentioned it in videos before where I was using Argan oil to really like pop out my tattoos. And you can find Palmer's at your drugstore. I found it in every drugstore I checked out. Rite Aid, CVS, Walgreens, I found Palmer's there. So Palmer's on the back here says Palmer's is against animal testing. So that's what I like to hear. Palmer's is great because they also have a white water-based lotion that is available. It does have fragrance in it, but it is something that they have if you want like daily moisture. But I just love the way that oil makes my tattoos look. And like a little bit goes a long way, but when I like first started getting tattooed and I wasn't like as brought up to speed on like cruelty free, I used to get the Neutrogena Sunflower Oil, and I was like, wow, this makes my tattoos look amazing. So it is so easy to switch over to Palmer's, or like I said, I was using an Argan Oil for the longest time, and I kind of just like fell out of enjoying that fragrance. I also don't like the fragrance of coconut. I love the flavor of coconut. I'll eat coconut all day, but I don't like coconut in my like beauty products. So you really only need a little bit of oil and you can put it on your tattoos and it just like instantly brings them to life. If you know you're going out or this is part of your daily routine, it's always good to put on oil when you get out of the shower or out of the bath to really lock in that moisture and it does help if you run like a really hot bath like me, it does help to restore that moisture. So I bought that at for $8.99, I believe, I couldn't find a travel size, but you could obviously just put that in a smaller container if that's something you like. So these have been my cruelty-free recommendations to you guys. Let me know if you've tried any of these products, maybe you've seen them around and you haven't taken the plunge. I understand that it's hard when you have a tried and true product, and there is like Companies do a really great job of making the cruelty-free jargon that they use really complicated and hard to understand. And I mean, it's pretty obvious that they use this language to confuse the consumer and make it maybe sound like they're cruelty-free when they're not. And then there are brands that have been cruelty-free for years and then don't talk about it. So it is definitely like a muddy kind of situation. And like I said, I still go into CVS with a fully charged phone because I have to look up every single thing. The drugstore is terribly hard to navigate because it is where most of these main brands like find their home. These are all really good products in my opinion and not that much more expensive than their counterpart. And it's your body and it is your tattoo. So putting you know, a little extra care into these products I feel like is worth it. So I was really happy to make this video for you guys. It was fun and a little bit challenging, especially to find these products in real life when I know I can just, one, get them all from Target, but that would have been messed up because I know a lot of you guys don't have access to Target. All of these products, by the way, are at Target, <laughs> but I did want to go across the city and see which stores had what and for the most part, it was really exciting and fun and inexpensive to say the least. And when the Eagles won, everyone came outside and started screaming and lighting off fireworks. So a really fun day for me nonetheless. Anyway, thank you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe if it is your first time here. I have plenty of videos that dive more into the products I like to use as well as test products. A lot of you guys were sending me pictures of that Lubriderm, so I just wanted to kind of make it my own. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to share what products you like down in the comments down below. 
This is a community, so it is always great to have a point of reference. So leave a comment, even if you think it won't help anybody. A lot of people are silent viewers and read the comments and it helps them out a lot. They tell me all the time. So don't forget to leave a comment down below and give this video a like. Anyway, thank you guys so much. I know this is a little out of the normal, but cruelty free, I just think is even if you give it a little, a little bit of consideration, it's still better than going with companies where their policy is just black and white. We test on animals, but we try to make them as comfortable as possible. I hope you took something from this video. All of these products are just as good as anything else, and I love you guys so much. Until next time, bye.